Khan That's right. approves, approves of your mind, soul, body, heart offering. That's right. What did the Apostle Paul say again? Back in 1 uh, Thessalonians 5 and verse 23. Give chapter and verse again. 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 23. Is that 1 Thessalonians or 2? That's 1 Thessalonians. All right, come on. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 23. Yes. And the very God of peace. Who got to do it? Who got to do it? The very God of peace. Who got to do it? The, the very God of peace. Who got to set you aside? The very God of peace. Where does sanctification come from? The very God of peace. Glory to God, the very preaching in a church got to be a sanctified message. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What do you mean sanctified message? That message is lined up with scripture right. to teach you how to be separated. That's right. You know, when you're sanctified, you are separated unto God. That's right. Holiness is a separation message. Oh, yes. Who oh, you're separated from, Pastor Janice? Yourself. Mm. <laughs> That's right. You got to separate from yourself. That's right. How in the world can I do that, Gino Janice? <laughs> Amen. There's two sides to yourself. Yeah. There's the carnal side. Oh, yeah. There's the spiritual side. That's right. Thank God. There are two laws within you. For I know that in me. Listen at the apostle here. In the book of Romans chapter 7 and at verse 18. I understand that in me. That is in my flesh. In my flesh. Well, it's no good thing. There's nothing good there. For to will is present with the me. The will is present with me. But how to perform that how which is good I find not. How to perform that which is good I find not. Down at verse 21. What is it? I find then a law. I found. I discovered something in me. That in, in, in my walk. Of right. laboring to be sanctified, I begin to search myself. That's right. Glory to God. I find then a law. What did I find? That when I would do good, I find a law. I find then a law. When I would do, do right, evil is present with me. Sin is right there. That's right. Evil is present with me. Hallelujah. Evil. Evil. Sin. Amen. Ungodliness. That's right. Glory to God. Wickedness. That's right. Is right there. I find then a law. This is an apostle talking. That's right. God called, God sent, God anointed, and examining himself by the same gospel that he preached to the world. I find then a law. I find then a law. That when I would do good. When I. When I would do good. Pastor Paul personalizing it. That's right. When I. When I would do good. And you might as well look at yourself too. Oh yes. Because this is you also. That's right. It's me also. That's right. I know it's Williams. Oh, yeah, that's I ain't got to sure. ask him. <laughs> that's, right. Yeah. that's right. What is it, sir? I find then a law. I find then a law. That when I would do good. When I would do right. Evil is present with me. My will is present right there. They try to keep me from doing God's will. For I delight in the law of God after I love, the inward I love man. God's law. But I see another law. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, I delight. In the law of God. In other words, I love God's law. I delight in it. I know it's true. But, I but see, in the midst of my loving God's law, that I may be sanctified and offer myself to him there's a problem within me but i see another law i see another law in my members in my members i hmm. see another law in my members in my temple in my body in my earthly tabernacle in my flesh warring it's what warring it's a conflict against the law of my mind another law that's something another law Praise the name of God. Amen. Two laws here. That's right. That's right. Your body is fighting with the mind. And the only time that fight takes place because the knowledge of God is there. That's right. The knowledge of God is there. And the knowledge of God is telling your body, you know what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you know right. what you should do. That's right. You know how to do it. Amen. You know what you need to stop doing. That's right. Hallelujah. I oh, find that a law. Huh? Amen. I see another law. That when I would do good. When I would do God's e will. Evil is present with sin. Me. It's present. It's present. Hallelujah. 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 Sin is there. 
For I delight in the law of God I after love the inner God's man, law. but I see another law. Glory to God, but I see something else. In my members. That's why you got to have a message Hallelujah. that keep hammers on sanctification. That's right. Being holy. Being holy. So the law that is in the flesh can be beat under subjection. That's right. That's right. You will never be saved in a false church. No. Never. Oh, no. You will never be holy in a false church. That's right. Never. That's right. You will never sanctify the Lord of hosts himself, himself. in a false church. Never. No, because no. the false church is set aside by the devil to please your will. That's right. And God church is set aside for him That's so right. that they may please his will. That's it. What did he say there? But I see another law in my members. You go on to church. Amen. But are you sanctified Sa there? Sanctified. That's right. Glory to God. I want to take my time and soak you a little. That's right. You go on to church and you're living together, not married. You ain't sanctified sufficient. No. No, no. Glory to God. You go on to church and you smoking that cigarette. You ain't sanctified sufficient. Suf sufficiently. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Amen. You set apart for something, but it's not good enough where God will respect it. That's right. The act of self-sanctification is the offering up of self. That's right. So is your offering like Cain? Like Cain's. Or is it like Abel? That's right. One offered a sufficient sacrifice. That's right. And in process and the of time. Other was insufficient. That's right. Thank God and when Cain offered the sacrifice that was right in his eyes. Yeah. But it wasn't sanctified in God's eyes and God rejected Cain's and accepted Abel's and then Cain got mad and murdered his brother Abel. That's right. That's like God tested their offering. God is testing everybody else's. Oh yes. You that are here, you that are watching, preachers, I don't care what kind of title you got, no. apostle, possum, raccoon, whatever you want to be. That's right. Are you sanctified sufficiently, sufficiently that you may perform That's right. the service of God? In the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 2. Says what? For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Give Jesus. Give chapter and verse again. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and we're at verse 2. You know. You know what commandments what we gave you by the Lord Jesus. What commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God. Wait a minute. This is the will of Geno Genesis. This is the will of God. I'm not in there? You're not in here, Pastor. I'm not in there? You're not in here. But they're blaming me for this stuff. I don't see your name, Pastor. Glory to God. For this is the will of this God. This is God's will. Even your sanctification. Even your sanctification. That you should abstain from fornication. Wait a minute. Amen. What to help you be sanctified? For this is the will of God, even your sanctification. Wait, wait, who, who, wait. Who, who will is it? This is the will of God. You know that ain't the will of man. No. It ain't the will of women either. <laughs> no. Huh? No, no. It's not even the will of a half man. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But it's the will of God. This is the will of God. That what? Even your sanctification. Wait a minute. This is part of your sanctification. That ye should abstain, that ye should abstain from fornication. What else? That every one of you, every one of should you, should know how to possess his vessel. Know how to possess his vessel. His vessel in sanctification Wait and a honor. Minute. You gotta possess your vessel for what? In sanctification. Your vessel is your body. Your body is your temple, and God wants the whole house. That's right. To be set aside. That's right. For nobody but Him. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself. Lord of hosts himself. You have to be sanctified mm -hmm. sufficiently. That's right. And when you're sanctified sufficiently That's right. and holy. And holy. The whole thing. That's right. Has to be offered to God. And the very God of peace sanctified Listen you holy. This again. Back in, in the book 1 of Thessalonians, Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 23. 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. And the very God of peace sanctify you holy. Sanctify you holy. Holy. Are you sanctified holy, holy today? That's right. Sanctified 
Holy, what do you mean? Every part of yourself. That's right. You're bringing to God as an offering. That's right. You're not holding back none of it. Mm. Amen. You are the firstlings thereof. That's you right. are the best offering. You are the best sacrifice that you lay into God, letting God use it the way he wants, how he wants, when he wants, where he wants. That's right. With no drawback, no kickback. That's right. Yeah, that's something. Self sanctification that's right. includes self denial. That's right. Cannot be sanctified that's right. without self denial. It just can't happen. That's right. Amen. If any man come after me, Jesus talking in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 16, if verse anybody pursue him, let him deny himself and tell it. That, that, that's, the beginning that's the beginning of self-sanctification. That's right. Self-denial. That's right. Let, it, let him do what? If any man will come after me, let him deny let himself. Let him first reject himself. And take up his cross. Let him first oppose his will. That's right. Any man. And pick up what? Take up his cross. Take up what? Take up his cross. And do what with it? And follow me. All right, hold it right there. Mm. Look at the cross. Hands was nailed, feet was nailed, fastened. That's right. Fastened down yeah. to that thing. I am crucified with Christ. Now here the Bible says you got to take up your cross. His cross. And here I come along with the hammer of the gospel to nail you to Jesus. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, we're take God. That's why we preach so hard. That's right. Amen. Because your Hallelujah. flesh is stubborn. And if you take a physical body and drive a nail in it, that body going to squirm because it's hurting and it's pain and it wants you to stop. That's right. That's Amen. Right. That's why you find heathen raging on social media about this gospel yeah. because we are driving the nail of holiness in the hands of heathens That's and right. false prophets and they're squirming. Oh, yeah. Stop preaching that, Jennings. Oh, yeah. Stop preaching that one God. That's right. Stop preaching that baptism. That's right. Stop preaching that Holy Ghost. Yeah. Squirming. That's right. Fighting. Oh, yeah. Resisting. Oh, yeah. Glory to God, but we're going to hold it on you. Then said Jesus unto his disciples. Then said Jesus to his disciples. If any man will come after me. If you come after Jesus. Let him deny himself. You got to surrender. That's right. And then what? And take up his cross. Pick up, pick up the place of suffering. And follow me. And hang out with me. That's right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> You're gonna, if you want to be part of Jesus. Yeah. Sanctified group. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Jesus Church is a sanctified group. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Set aside, Set aside for death. That's right. What do you mean death? The killing of your own will. Oh, yes. That's why the word of God must be preached hard because the body keeps trying to live with sin and the gospel must be preached hard to kill the appetite of sin. That's right. Right. There ain't a sanctified person in the false church nowhere. No. Because falsehood don't give you sanctification. No. So falsehood give you a form of sanctification form of and is not sufficient. In the book of Saints. That's, that's the thing. That's sanctify sufficiently. Sufficiently. The priest didn't sanctify himself sufficiently. sufficiently. He that's didn't right. do it all the way. That's he right. didn't go all the way with it. That's right. He went halfway. That's it. That's many of you watching. You're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and you got a woman pastor. Yeah. Did not sanctify sufficiently. Sufficiently. You didn't go all the way with it. That's right. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Got claim you got the Holy Ghost, but now don't believe in speaking in tongues. Yeah. You didn't go all the way with it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Little acting deacon. <laughs> acting. Pretending to be a deacon. Amen. Mm -hmm. You're not sanctified sufficiently. sufficiently. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and a homosexual. Yeah. You know you ain't sanctified. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Any law that we break in God's word, yeah. we're not sanctified sufficiently. 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 So therefore, we're still going through the process of self 
sanctification because we are forever evolving around the commandments of God, the instructions of God, the order of God. And as we evolve, we start to take off and pull off our own will. In the book of First Chronicles, chapter 29 and verse 16. First Chronicles. Second 20, Chronicles. Second Chronicles. Chapter 29 and verse 16. That's what? And the priest went into the inner part of the house of the Lord. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. The Amen. priest went in the inner parts of God's house. To cleanse it. Wait a minute. To clean God's house. And the priest went into the inner part of the house of the Lord to cleanse it. To clean the house out. And brought out all the uncleanness that they found in the temple of the Lord. That's what got me preaching. That's he right. went into the natural building. Right. I'm coming to your body. That's right. Don't you know your body is the temple of the living God? That's right. Your body is this, is, is this earthly house of this tabernacle. That's right. One day it's going to resolve. There's a lot of unclean things in there. So I have to come along with the push broom of the scripture. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. And, and I, got, I got to sweep aggressively. <laughs> That's right. That's Amen. right. And I know a lot of folk don't want that. Them yeah. bristles hurt. They don't like that. Amen, man. You don't want to give up that second wife and second husband. That's why you get upset and pout, roll your eyes and say, I enjoyed Geno Jennings, but I don't know about that divorce. I just know you don't. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's right. Women preachers sometimes. I, I have women preachers write me. I remember when we first pursued our new international headquarters, a woman preacher wrote me and sent me a check. She said, I know you don't believe in women preachers. She said, but even I want to see you with that check. She said, here's a check, I think, for $100. Wonderful. Woman preacher. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. So it doesn't matter what you're in and what you have. No. You have to be sanctified in a manner where God is pleased. Now, you look at yourself today. Yeah. And see, are you wholly sanctified? Holy. That's right. Holy. What you mean? Every part of yourself. That's right. Mouth got to be sanctified. Yeah. What come out of it, God got to be pleased with it. Oh, yes. Ears got to be sanctified. That's right. What you listen to, God, you shouldn't be where God can condemn you. That's right. What you look at with your eyes. That's right. It have to be so way. What you're looking at, if God come for you, your view won't cause you to go to hell. He that walketh righteously. What you're handling with your hands, what you're touching, and if God come for you, that thing in your grip at the time he come for you won't send you to hell. That's right. Ah! Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 15. What he said. He that walketh righteously. He that walk right. And speaketh uprightly. And talk right. He that despiseth the gain of oppression. He that despiseth is a gang of oppression that shaketh his hands Shake from holding a bribe from holding bribe that stoppeth his ears Stop his from ears hearing of blood about blood and shutteth his eyes, shut his eyes from seeing evil from seeing evil he shall dwell on high he shall dwell on high that same one will do what dwell on high will make the resurrection his place of defense that God he gonna dwell on high he shall dwell he on high he gonna be right in God's eye that's right his what his place his place of defense of defense shall be the munitions of rocks glory to God Bread shall be given to him. What? Bread shall be given to him. Bread shall be given to him. His waters shall be sure. Bread shall be given to him. What you mean? Jesus going to be given to him. That's right. Because I'm that bread from heaven. That's right. His water shall spirit going to be given to him too. That's right. Because he said I'm that living water. Thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty. Do you hear this? Amen. Hallelujah. Sanctification is hard, isn't it? Yes, it is. You must be sanctified sufficiently. 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 That's Pastor Jennings, I come to church, but I don't know about putting something on my head. The Bible said if a woman pray or prophesy, having her head uncovered, she dishonor her, her head. Coming to church is one thing. That's yeah. wonderful. That's you wonderful. don't have your head covered in your worship of God. Right. You're not sanctified sufficiently. sufficiently. Anything right. God tell you to do while you're struggling with it, you're not sufficient. That's right. While you're not up to it, you're not sufficient. That's right. While you're battling it within yourself, within glory yourself. to God, glory to God, you're not sufficient. Sanctify now yourselves. What? In 2 Chronicles 29 and verse 5. When should we do it? Sanctify now. Wait. Sanctify now. Say, I ain't going to church no more. I'm going to do it while I'm home. Sanctify now yourselves. You fail to come to God's house and God said, forsake not this, assemble yourself together as a man of some is, but so much the more as you see the day approaching. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, you're not obeying that. That's you're not right. sanctified sufficiently. That's right. 
You're still sitting in the false church even after you came and got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. You're not sanctified sufficiently. sufficiently. You will still go to hell and be lost with the right baptism. That's right. Because the other part of the scripture says, come out from among, among them, them and be separate. Say of the Lord. And if you don't obey that, you are still dying. Go to hell. That's right. Baptize right. That's right. Sanctify now yourselves. You got to be sanctified. Now. Sufficiently. Sufficiently. When? Now. Right now. Right now. Amen. Many uh, thousands went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. In the truth of God. Yeah. And some of you trickled back to your false church. That's right. And you're still on your way to hell. That's right. Because you did not sanctify yourself sufficiently. Sufficiently. There's so much more that God told you to do. Oh, yeah. And you just went and got baptized and obeyed that but did and overlook the other part, the weightier part. That's right. You overlook the other matters. That's right. You still will be lost with the right baptism. That's right. What did he say? Sanctify now yourself. Now yourself. And sanctify the house of the Lord God of your fathers. The very building, the very building, the very church. That's right. Have to be for sanctification. And carry forth the All the preaching. Yeah. Only thing that make that message a sanctified message when it's locked, stock, and barrel with Bible. Sanctify them through thy truth. Wait a minute. In St. John chapter 17 and verse 17. You know what? Sanctify them through thy truth. Sanctify them through the truth. What is it? Thy word is truth. The word ain't being preached. Sanctification ain't being preached. That's right. That's right. I don't care who you are, bishop, elder, apostle, deacon. Mm -mm, that doesn't matter. No. The word of God ain't being preached right. Right. That's it. You fake healers and got the people trusting in money and all of that foolishness. Talking about money, come here and all that religious garbage. You not sanctified sufficiently. sufficiently. No way. Everybody under the sun got to be sanctified on God terms. That's right. And this is where sanctification had failed. Yeah. It relapsed. Oh, yes. It, it just fell apart That's in right. religion. That's right. None of the preachers are preaching sanctification anymore. No. None! No, no. Only thing they preach is get healed and get money, then you go to hell with a healthy body. The righteous perisheth. Get healed, get money, then you go to hell with a healthy body. That's right. Burning, all healthy, burning. 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 I'd rather be crippled in the wheelchair, saved and sanctified, and go back with God. That's right. Amen, because when God changed this crippled body from mortal to immortality, immortality, I won't be crippled in eternity. No. I want to say what? Give me the book of Maccabees, the seven sons. Yes. Amen, he talk about when he loses parts, he say he'll get them again. That's right. Quickly, son. That's right. Amen, second Maccabees, the seventh chapter. Quickly now. Yeah. Amen, I want to show you this. Come on, I'm on the clock. Move fast now. Yes. Amen. I want everybody to see this. I said, if I was in a wheelchair, I won't be in no wheelchair in eternity. No. Ain't gonna be no angles rolling me around. I'm baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. No, if I lose a limb or anything, amen. The man said that I believe that God will give you those things back. That's right. Come on, son, give me the book of Second Maccabees. Second Chronicles now. chapter 7 and verse 28. Second Maccabees. Maccabees is what I want. <laughs> Seventh chapter book of Maccabees. Second Maccabees. Not Chronicles. I, I had Maccabees. Come on, son, listen. Second Maccabees chapter 7, we'll start at verse 12. What is it? In so much that the king and they that were with him In marveled. In so much that the king. You better go up above that. Verse 10. At, ver at verse 10. All right. After him was the third made a mocking stuff. Yes. And when he was required, he put out his tongue. And, and that right soon, holding forth his hands manfully. Yes. And said, courageously, these have I had from heaven. He held out his hands and said, courageously, these, these I have talk from about heaven. his hands I got from heaven. And for his laws, I despise them. You know, there was a woman who had seven sons and the women and the sons would not bow to the king and eat unclean flesh. Yeah. And the king took each son and tortured them. That's right. I mean tortured them until the sons begin to stand up and be brave and stand and uh, not give in to consume unclean flesh, which was the law uh, of that time. That's right. Listen now. And from him I hope to receive them again. Wait a minute. He yeah. did what? I 
Second Chronicles, Second Maccabees, chapter seven. Chapter and verse, and verse 11. again. Second Maccabees, chapter seven and verse eleven. Says what? And said courageously. He said courageously. These I had from heaven. Talk about his hands. And for Get his chapter and verse again. Second Maccabees, chapter seven and verse eleven. Verse ten. Verse ten. After him was the third made a mocking stop. After him, the third was made a mocking stop. And when he was required, he put out his when tongue. When he was quite required, he put out his tongue. Stuck his tongue out. And that right soon, holding forth his hands then manfully. He held his hands out. And said courageously. He said boldly. These I've had from heaven. I had my tongue and I had my hands from heaven. That means God gave it to me. God made this body. And for his laws I despise them. And for his laws I reject them. And from him I hope to receive from them him, again. From him. I hope to receive I them again. I hope to get them back. Again. Again. In so much that the king and In they that so were with him marveled. When the king heard him, they marveled. At the young man's courage. At the young. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless God at the young man's courage. For he had nothing regarded the pain. He had nothing regarding the pain. Now when this man was dead also, when they tore minute. This man was dead also, they, they tore minute. minute and mangled the fourth and in like manner. Mangled the fourth one in like So man. when he was ready to die, he, he was said ready this. ready to die. And he said thus. Yes. It is good being put to death by men. What? It is good being put to death by men. Yeah, Jesus said, destroy this body. Destroy this temple, but in three days I'll bring it back. That's right. And then Jesus said, fear not him that can destroy the body after what can't do no more, but rather fear him that after destroying both body and soul can cast both into hell. That's right. Into the fire that never shall be quenched. It is good, it being, is good being put to death by men. Being put to death, being killed by men. To look for hope from God. But I look, glory to God. Hallelujah. I look to hope from to God. To hope from God. To be raised up again by who him. Who will bring me back. As for thee. As for you. Thou shalt have no resurrection to the life. king, hey king, as for you, mm. you're going to hell. That's right. Mm. All right, go back to where you were quickly now. Back in 2 Chronicles 30 and verse 3. Yes. For they could not keep it at that time. They could not keep it at that time. Because the priests had not sanctified themselves sufficiently. Can you keep worship right, viewers? Yeah. Is your church service right? That's right. Is it a sanctified service? Is your songs sanctified? That's right. Are the, the lyrics of your songs sanctified? In the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 29 and verse 30. I say, are the lyrics of your songs Sanctified. Listen at this now. Second Chronicles chapter 29 and verse 30. What is it? Moreover, Hezekiah the king and the princes commanded the Levites to sing praise. To un sing praise. Unto the Lord. Unto God. With the words of David and of Asaph the seer. Yes. And they sang praises with gladness, and they bowed their heads and worshipped. Book of Corinthians, quickly. Book Let's see how should we sing. That's right. And how should we pray. Everything must come under the heading Sanctification, First, everything. That's right. Choir songs, how you conduct praise service, money being collected, everything. That's right. Everything. <laughs> that's right. Everything the Bible deals with must come under sanctification. That's right. Listen. First Corinthians 14 and verse 15. That's right. What is it then? What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit. I will pray with the Spirit. That means the words that come out of my mouth will not contradict the letter, won't contradict the scripture. Because Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So whatever I pray about, whatever I say, it won't be against the scripture, but my words will be in compliance with the scripture. So my tongue will be sanctified in speech. That's right. I want, my, I want to have a sanctified request. That's right. Mm -hmm. What is it then? What is it? I will pray with the spirit. I'm going to pray with in keeping with God's word. And I will pray with the understanding also. Do you understand what come out of your mouth or your words that you ask God, what you ask God for, what you ask God to, to do? Is it a sanctified request? That's right. Is it a sanctified request? Amen. Amen. Get me. Is it a sanctified request? I will pray with the Spirit. I'm going to pray according to Scripture. And I will pray with the understanding also. You sit in these false churches and the preacher's telling you to go out there and you talk to a preacher and say, well, listen, there's a sister I want to marry, uh, but my wife's still living. The preacher come tell you, you go to God for <laughs> Go to God for that second wife. That's, that's, that's not a sanctified request. No. That's an adulterous request. That's right. 
That's right. You have to pray with understanding. Understand. And when you pray with understanding, you will know why your first companion lived. You can't get another one until she kicked the bucket. That's right. I don't mean the bucket she mopped with either. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Do you get what I'm telling you? I will pray with the Spirit. That means your prayer got to agree with God. That's right. Your prayer, you out with there the praying spirit. to more than one, God don't agree with that. No. Because he says, sanctify the Lord of hosts himself. himself. God do not agree, nor do he appreciate you trying to pray to Mary. <laughs> That's right. Mary is dead. Amen. Mary don't know you and you don't know her. That's right. God don't appre appreciate you trying to pray to no man, no pope. No. Trying to pray to some saint for healing. Saint Michael, the healing angel. I don't want that. That's right. None of the angels got authority or power to heal. No. Healing comes from God. That's right. God say, I heal. I heal. I make alive. That's right. I wound. I wound. I kill. I'm the Lord that do all of these things. What is it then? Listen at this. Back in 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 15. What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit. I'm going to agree with God. And I will pray with the understanding also. Glory to God. I will sing with the Spirit. I'm going to sing. Look at your song. That's right. That's why when folks are singing, I, I listen. That's right. Before I agree to it and participate, I listen. Oh, yes. Make sure that all the, I don't care if the whole church move until the stones sway. Hmm. And the carpet roll up and roll down, roll up and roll down and keep up the rhythm. That's right. I have to make sure the song is a sanctified song. That's right. Why? All of our service, keep in mind, yeah. all of our service is a offering going up before God. That's right. Huh? That's right. All of our oh. service oh. is an offering. That's right. I want to make sure that it, 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 it be so where God is pleased with it. Yeah. That way I have God's approval. That's right. If I don't have God's approval, how can God get joy out of it? Amen. That's true. Hmm? That's true. Like that song that folks used to sing and still sing. William remember it. Holy, holy, holy. Some of you remember it, too, because some of you came out of churches that sung that lie. That's right. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, God in three persons. Blessed Trinity. Blessed Trinity, you blessed liar. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's right. Trinity not even in the Bible. It's a lie. That's right. So the song does not set God apart. That's right. It give him two partners. <laughs> Amen. It don't sanctify the Lord of hosts himself. himself. Viewers and listeners, the church that you attend, one, must be holy. Two, the teaching must be able right. to sanctify you holy. 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 You must be able to, uh, through teaching. Someone say, why through teaching? Because teaching teaches you how to present yourself in a sanctified manner. That's right. If I'm not taught, I can never, I don't care how holy I want to be, if I'm not taught, I can't do it. No. I'm just stuck somewhere in limbo, trying to do this, trying to do that, getting advice from someone else, getting advice from this one. And the Bible said you got 10,000 instructors, yeah, but not yet many not many fathers. So by the time I try to do what all these other folk tell me to do, I'm more messed up now than I ever was. In 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 22. Chapter and verse again. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 22. That's what? Seeing ye have purified your soul. Seeing you get clean. In obeying the truth through the spirit, through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brother. Unfeigned love of the brother. See that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. So when you're sanctified, all your worship, all your deeds yeah. have to come under that sacrifice of sacrifice and offering. That's right. Unto God. Unto God. So you look at yourself now, you that are here, you that are watching, you may go to church. And I know you've been going to these old false churches here in Lafayette. That's right. That's right. And most people forgot. Most people never thought of yeah. being sanctified. Being sanctified. Being holy is not enough. No. You didn't know that? That's right. You didn't know being holy is not enough? You can walk around and claim you're holy, but having the Holy Ghost ain't enough. Not enough. You got to be sanctified. That's right. You know how many people baptized in the name of Jesus That's Christ right. got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and ain't sanctified? Yeah. 
and they come right in that scripture in Chronicles that they didn't sanctify themselves sufficiently. 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 You're not sanctified. You didn't set yourself apart all the way for God. That's right. That's right. You got the Holy Ghost, some of you. Yeah. You're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, some of you. Some of you. you believe in one God. Some of you, but that's not enough. And the very God of peace sanctify you the holy. The very God of peace sanctify you how? Holy. Spell that. W-H-O-L-L-Y. That means the whole thing. That's it. Everything. Everything. The whole thing. That's right. Got to be set apart. That's right. The whole thing God wants. And I pray God your whole spirit. And I pray God your whole spirit. And soul. Your whole soul. And body. Your whole body. Be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord when Jesus Christ. When you're holy and sanctified, that teaching will preserve you. That's right. In other words, you won't spoil and go rotten in sin. That's right. You'll be so preserved That's by right. the word of God that when the Lord come, he got some fresh fruit to bring back with him into the kingdom. That's right. That's right. This message will keep you from going rotten. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? You know, you get some fruit, it'll go rotten, it'll go bad. Yeah. You take the word of God and let this be your fear. Yeah. Let this be your dread. Let this be your dread. And be sanctified on these terms. That's right. Don't just look at your baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and say, you going on with Jesus. <laughs> no. There's mm. some sanctification that must be taught. That's right. This is the will of God. Wait a minute. Who will is it? This is the will of God. Well, that rule you out. That's right. Because you know it ain't the will of the people. No. But this is God's will. This is the will of God. That what is it, William? Even your sanctification. Give chapter and verse for this. Back in 1 Thessalonians 4 and verse 3. This is the will of God, even your set-apartness. That ye should abstain from fornication. That you abstain from that which is unclean. That every one of you should know that how. That everybody should know how. To possess his vessel in to sanctification. To contain their body. In sanctification. And, separ and separateness. Sep and, to set apart that body. And, and honor. Honor it. Not in the lust of concubinance. Not in the lust of the flesh. Even as the Gentiles which Even know as not the God. Gentiles that don't know God. That no man go beyond and defraud God his God don't want his people to act like they don't know him. That's right. That's right. But the scripture says everyone shall know him. Everyone. You out here baptized in the name of Jesus Christ to have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and a Baptist preacher is preaching in a so-called apostolic church? Lord. You act like you don't know God. That's right. Because when you know God, how can two walk together except they except agree? Except they agree. That's right. Hey, you believe in one God on the throne, <laughs> and you fellowshipping with a false prophet or false prophets that believe it's two thrones? Mm. Jehovah Witness believe it's two thrones. That's right. Jesus got a throne and Jehovah got a throne. That's a lie. That's a lie. Give me a revelation. Revelation four. 4 and that verse 1. I'm going to trust the one that looked in heaven. That's right. I ain't going to trust no one that can't even see around the corner. Amen. You can't even see around the corner. How are you going to tell me what's up there? <laughs> Here's a man that looked right in heaven in the spirit. Re revelation, in the spirit, I said. Revelation chapter 4 and verse 1. Says what? After this, I looked. And behold, a door. I looked. And behold, a door was open a in door heaven. Door was open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me. And what? Which said, "Come up here. Come up here. And I will show thee things which I must, must be here. Show you what must be here. And immediately, what happened to him? I was in the spirit. Immediately. That's what's missing in the pulpit. That's right. Right away, I was in the spirit. God came on me. And behold, a throne, a throne was set in heaven. How many did you see, John? And one, one sat on the throne. One on the throne. One on the throne. And he that sat. How many sat there? And he that sat. How many sat there? And one sat on the throne. And what? And he that sat. Not they. He. You better not tell me he was sharing that throne with anybody. <laughs> That's right. He, he that, that set was a look upon as a jasper and a sardine stone. And that was a rainbow round about the throne and in sight like into an emerald. And round Do about you hear this. That's right. So if you baptize and have the Holy Ghost and you're supposed to be a preacher. Why are you fellowshipping with unbelievers? That's not sanctification. No. A man that got more than one God can't preach here. That's right. That's right. 
You don't believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, you're not preaching here. If there come any yeah. unto you. You don't believe in the Holy Ghost speaking in another tongue of the Spirit of God to give others, you ain't preaching here. No way. Don't believe in women got to cover their hair, you stay where you at, you ain't preaching here. That's right. You got women pastors and women bishops and deaconess, you ain't preaching here. Yeah. Believe you can divorce and remarry, you ain't preaching here. That's right. Not here. Not here. No. Oh, no. Not at all. Not at all. You got to sanctify yourself sufficiently. Sufficient. And when you sanctify yourself sufficiently, you're going to find yourself rebelling against friends. That's right. Because they're not sanctified. That's right. When the sinner is not sanctified and you striving to be sanctified, y'all going to clash. Oh, yes. Because you're going to look at things from what God said. He's going to look at things from his personal views and his fleshy feelings. And you're going to clash. The carnal mind going to be at odds with the spiritual mind. And that's what makes people when they hear this spiritual message and their eyes come open and their understanding is enlightened. Right then, after that, they're at war with their preacher. No, you aren't that the friendship of the, the world. your eyes come open, you got to fight with your bishop now. That's true. Because now you see things he couldn't see. That's right. And you're trying to get him to see it. That's right. And he's going to try to defend his organization and what he believes. Oh, yeah. And then you're going to say, well, where is it in the Bible? He's going to tell you, we ain't got to have no Bible. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Jesus said, he that believeth on me. As the scripture has said. As the scripture have said. Has said. And when you believe on Jesus as the scripture have said, you got a sanctified message. Glory to God. That's right. Eh? That's right. Sanctified message. That's right. This message of holiness is set apart. Oh, yes. The reason why it's set apart. And so that's why the results is like it is. Yeah. Because it's separated from all other messages. That's right. It is distinguished from all other messages. That's right. Amen. The, someone can come along and say, I'm preaching holiness. <laughs> Just look at the results. Look at the results. Don't go jumping around waving your hand. Oh, another holy preacher like Kermit. Ah! <laughs> Wave right. your hands yelling like Kermit the Frog. Ah! Am I pay that no mind? That's right. Just look at the results. Amen. A holy message gives you holy results. That's right. They can quote the word holy all they want. A holy message brings holy results. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? They profess that they know God. They claim that they to know, know God, God. But in works, they deny him. Being abominable. Yeah, when they come to work, they deny him. They don't know God. That's right. You mean to tell me all this time, souls not being baptized, nobody received the Holy Ghost? Yeah. And then they quote the scripture to the people, a remnant going to be saved. What they got to do with you? <laughs> That's right. I know a remnant going to be saved, but thousands are still going down in water. Oh, yeah. Still receiving the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? They profess that they know God. You preachers that keep hollering and want us to change. Mm. Here we're getting results with the holy sanctified message. Look how long you've been in the pulpit. Yeah. And you're not getting no results at all other oh. than fellowshipping with derelict preachers. <laughs> That's right. Preachers who have no calling, no nothing. No nothing. Who've right. been up in the pulpit for about 20, 30, 40 years and still in the same rut. That's no right. growth, no nothing. These are spots in your feast of charity. What? In the book of Jude 1 and verse 12. These are spots. In your feast of in charity. In your fellowship. When your they feast of charity. When they feast with you. When they feast with you. Feeding themselves without fear. They feed themselves without fear. Here. Clouds, they are without water. Wait a minute, they're clouds. They are without water. They, they, they ain't got no water. They're preachers with no spirit. Carried about of wind. Carried about with wind. Trees whose fruit withereth. They are trees. They got dead fruit, meaning they works are to nothing. With, they have no work. Without fruit. Without what? Without fruit. For the past 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 years, five people. That's right. Fifteen people. That's right. Seven people. Yeah. And you gonna tell me that scripture? No. Well, the Bible says a few gonna be saved. God's few ain't like yours. No way. Everywhere the apostle took this message, the apostle was turning over cities. That's right. Souls was repenting, going down the water. Go and take God. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. I see this thing being done. You can't make me believe otherwise. That's right. 
That's something, brother. Everywhere this thing goes. Everywhere. 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 We sent evangelist Taj to Italy last week. Yeah. Fifteen went down in water. Yeah. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Sent them to Ireland. Souls went down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Scotland, Netherlands, Germany. That's right. Everywhere the message of holiness goes. That's right. That's right. Everywhere. Are you listening? And the Lord added to the church daily. No, he took breaks. And the Lord added to the church daily. This is the church from the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts 2 and verse 47. The and Bible speaks plain how God worked in this church. And the Lord added to the church daily. How often? Daily. What did he do to all? Such as should be saved. Daily. Daily. I wouldn't waste two cents with these things who ain't doing nothing but talk. That's right. I don't want to waste my time exchanging services with a preacher. I preach for him on Sunday. He preached for me the next Thursday. And we do that for the next, the next 40 years. And here we don't even believe the same thing. Same thing. He ain't got no growth where he at. Ain't got no growth where I'm at. So what's being done? Nothing. Nothing. That's a cloud without tempest. Yes. Clouds they are without water. That's clouds without water. Carried about of wind. Carried about wind. Trees whose fruit withereth. Trees. Fruit wither. Without fruit. Ain't got no fruit. Twice dead. What? Twice dead. How, how, how often? Twice dead. You're dead spiritually and your work is dead naturally. Plucked up by the roots. Plucked up by the roots. Raging waves of the sea. When it's plucked up sea. by the roots means there's nothing down in that work that can nurture it and That's make right. it flourish. Raging waves of the sea. The Holy Ghost is in the roots of the church. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. He said it like rivers of living water. That's right. This right. spakey of the spirit. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This spakey of the spirit. That's right. Glory to God. God himself take care of the church. That's right. He nurture it. That's right. He don't let his bride wither no. and die. Oh, no. He nurture it. That's right. Yeah. We got a gospel that pregnates creation. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Always discharging seed. Yeah. Always. Every city, always. every town, every village, every country. That's why the church is called the bride. Because God's church is pregnant. That's right. Give God sons and daughters. That's right. And you got to have a preacher that's aroused by the spirit to be on uh, constantly. He must be consistent in seed distribution. That's right. Bible said the seed is the word. The word. Didn't it say so? Amen. 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 So we're discharging gospel everywhere. Everywhere. And I see Italian babies, German babies, Israel babies, Hebrew babies, black babies, Hispanic babies, Korean babies, Vietnamese, African babies. Hallelujah, glory to God. Indian babies, white babies, That's brown right. babies, yellow babies. That's right. That's right. The Holy Ghost said it shall come to pass That's right. in the last days Amen. that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established, shall be established in the top, of the, the mountains. top of the mountain and shall be exalted shall be above, the hill. above the hill and all nations all God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All nations, all nations, all nations shall flow unto it. All nations. All nations. All nations. That's God's church. All nations shall flow unto it. All nations. All nations. All nations shall flow unto it. Arabs is going down in the water. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, why God called for it. That's right. Italians, like the house of Cornelius. That's right. Going down in the water, God called for it. That's right. Greeks. Going down the water, God called for it. All nations. All nations shall flow unto it. Hallelujah. All shall nations. flow. Shall flow unto Come it. Come on back to Bible. That's right. It got to flow. Flow unto it. Amen. You preachers. That's something. You pastoring 10, 15, 20, 30 years. 
and all you do is swap services? That's right. You folk going to these churches? What are you doing? Yeah, all you do is swap services? That's right. Fellowship services. Yes. True fe Give me the book of Epistle of John. Yes. Let's get Bible fellowship. First John chapter 1. And Not I this old rubbish that these people are doing. That's right. Let's get fellowship according to the Bible. First John chapter 1 and verse 5. Listen. This then is the message which we have heard of him. Over there, God, this is the message. That we have heard of him. That we have heard. And declare unto and you. And declare unto you. That God is light. God is light. And in him. In him. Is no darkness at all. No darkness at all. If we say that we have if fellowship we with him. We have fellowship with him. And walk in darkness. And walk in darkness. We lie and, lie and do not the truth. If you say you got fellowship with God, with God's word, and yet you fellowship with false prophets who don't believe the word, what are you? We lie and do not the truth. I won't even fellowship with a man who don't believe what the Bible says. That's right. You ain't coming in here preaching. That's right. That's right. I preach for you because I'm charged to bring the gospel to everybody. That's right. But you ain't coming here. No, no. Hallelujah. My job is to preach everywhere. Everywhere. Regardless of what you believe, I got to go. That's right. When they was worshiping the great goddess Diana, Apostle Paul went there and knocked everything over until Demetrius cried out. That's right. Paul was no idolater, but he went there and broke it up. And Demetrius said, don't you know that by this craft we got our wealth? Moreover, you see here, but not alone in Ephesus, but almost throughout all Asia, this Paul has persuaded and turned away much people. people. Amen. My job is to go into every setting under the sun. Yes, if God opened the door, I got, I got to go. Got to go. Preach the word of God. I don't care if it's a Hindu temple. I go there and let the Hindus know you got to depend and be baptized right. in the name of Jesus Christ. Have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and walk with the word of God. That's right. But a Hindu preacher can't come here and preach. No, no. no. Amen. Did you hear what the apostles laid down here? Yeah, if we say that we have fellowship with him. I came out of falsehood where they did that every so many times a week. Just swap services. Swap. No growth. And if you take note, all the preachers they fellowship with, there's no growth in no church. This little group, this little corner group, that little corner group, that little corner group, and some of them say they're bishops and elders and ain't got no church, no work, no nothing. Mm -hmm. A freelance elder. That's right. That's right. All you do is go from pulpit to pulpit and church to church and church to church to get an offering. <laughs> Amen. That's how he pay his light bill. Yeah. Oh, yes. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? If we say that we have fellowship with him. I believe in fellowship on this order. That's right. Why? This, this, this gives you true fellowship, true fellowship, sanctifies fellowship. That's right. Mm -hmm. if, if we say... If we say that we have fellowship with him... We have fellowship with him. And walk in darkness. And walk in sin, walk in darkness, walk in lies. We lie, you lie. and do not the truth. You, you don't do the truth. But if we walk in the light... If you walk in the light... As he is in the light... As one, he is in the light. We have fellowship one with another. What is it? And the blood of Jesus the Christ, blood his, of son Jesus Christ his son... The cleanses us from all and sin. And that's what he did when he died on the cross. Bless God, he shed blood that we may be clean. That's right. Listen... If we say that we have no sin, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. You on? I'm at verse eight. All right. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. You trick yourself. And the truth is not in us. That's why you got to be sanctified sufficient. Sufficient. Glory to God. So we don't do that swap service stuff. No. I preach for you. You preach for me. No way. I preach for you, but when you believe something ain't like the Bible, you ain't coming here. That's not right. To preach. You can come and sit down. <laughs> That's right. I let you have some remarks to say. Yeah. Certainly. Well, I, I, I'd, uh, out of hospitality, I'll let you have some remarks to say. That's right. But preach, no. Oh, no. We want to keep God's house and the pulpit clean. Clean. That's right. Amen. That's right. The priests did not sanctify, sanctify themselves, themselves sufficiently. Sufficiently. Neither had the people gathered themselves and together. This is what's to going on now. Church is going on, but the worship is not sufficient in God's eyes. That's right. Three gods, two gods, five gods. India have over three million gods. That's right. Over three million. If that's not exhausting in your worship, I don't know what is. Oh, yeah. Trying to satisfy three million three, gods. Three million. I've been to India several times. We got over 50 Truth of God churches in South India and over 100 Truth of God temples in East India. And I have to make sure everything is preached right in everything. 
That's right. All them churches in Africa. Churches will be setting up throughout Europe. That's right. Throughout America. All the Caribbean. Mm. All them islands. And still expanding. Amen. And everybody got to speak the same thing. Don't tell me nothing about revelation. If that revelation don't come from the scriptures, take that revelation and rev it up. <laughs> That's right. Spit it out, throw it out, and come back to Bible. That's right. Come on back. That's right. I don't care how happy you get, come on back. Come on back. I remember we went to a church years ago. I didn't even have half of the size crowd that we have now. And I didn't know it was a woman preacher was the pastor. In fact, she's supposed to have been the apostle. They didn't tell me. They just gave me the invitation to come preach. But when we went there, then they made their announcement. <laughs> and before the seat got warm good, they asked for an offering. They wanted to get their money out of that crowd. And uh, there were so many people there, they, nobody could get in the building. They were standing all out on the side, walking in the street. And uh, right. a fella came up and wanted a blessed dollar. And people know the way we are. If you got something that ain't like the Bible, I'll preach for you. <laughs> but we won't give you no offering. That's right. Someone said, that's rude. Get over it. <laughs> Bible tells me not to strengthen the hands of the evil doers. The evil doers. You don't believe what's in there, and I patronize you with money. I'm strengthening the hands of, of the, the evil, evil doers. doers. That's right. That's rude. Get over it. Get over <laughs> it. <laughs> I ain't giving you nothing. That's right. Why would in the world would I give you a light? And I don't smoke. Mm -hmm. I'm strengthening your hand. That's you got to right. light him. Just lighting up your cigarette. I don't smoke. I'm strengthening the hand of the evil door. The evil doers. So we got there. And before we, the seats got warm, good, he asked for the blessed dollar. <laughs> and those that pay attention to teaching wasn't moving. He looked back at me. Pastor Jenner, your, your people are not going to give no money. I said, you ain't getting nothing. I said the best thing for you to do is just let me preach because you ain't getting no money out of us. He said nothing. I said nothing. You didn't ask me to come here to give you money. You asked me to come here and preach. That's right. Let your light bills be your responsibility. It won't be mine. <laughs> then one of my brothers, he wasn't, didn't keep in memory what was preached. And he started digging his pot to get it off. And I said, Amen. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, Amen. At the, <laughs> at the service, he came to me to apologize. And I looked at him and laughed and said, hey, you old heathen. <laughs> he said, I'm, I'm so sorry, Pastor Jen. I said, all right, you're still a heathen. I said, look at you, about to give a woman preacher a dollar. He said, man, what was I thinking about? I said, you're a heathen. Remember that now. Bible speaks plain. Don't strengthen the hands. Hands of evildoers. That's what the Bible says. In Jeremiah 23 and verse 14. Says what? I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem and horrible a things. Horrible things. They commit adultery. They commit adultery. And walk in lies. They walk in lies. They strengthen they also strengthen the hands also of evildoers. They the hand of the evildoer. How in the world can all these different religions be preaching in a so-called holy sanctified church? Church. Come out, we fellowship with brothers. Brothers? That's right. Only if they make you a brother is the scripture. That's right. You ain't no brother because you black. What kind of dumb reason is that? Yeah. Hm. You my brother because you black? Cause you're black? Are you that big of a fool? Amen. Not here. Oh, no. You're only a brother when you walk by the same rule and mind the same, same thing. thing. That's right. Oh, yes. We believe in fellowship on Bible terms. Oh, yeah. Those terms are if you walk in the light. As he is in the light. As he is in the we light. We have fellowship one, one with another. One with another. And the blood if of If you're not walking in that light. If we say. Of what the scripture says. That's right. Uh-uh. No fellowship. No fellowship. I'll come preach for you. But you ain't coming here to preach to a dog. <laughs> Amen. Not even to roaches in the church. That's right. You ain't going to let the roaches hear you. <laughs> false prophet come in turn the lights on tell the roach to skedaddle false prophet in the pulpit run run that's right a false prophet is a dangerous thing oh yes a false prophet is a representative of Satan of the devil let us remember Satan opposed God when he was in heaven yeah. and he opposed God now 
and he's going to oppose God until that angel come with a great chain in his hand and the keys of the bottomless pit, grab hold of that dragon and shut him up. That's right. Acts 2, 38, son. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Here's a sanctified salvation here. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. Hear the old man now. You want to be sanctified, viewer? You've got to hear in Lafayette. You shouldn't want to be sanctified. Get That's ready right. to come out of your churches. Come out of them. That's right. Just get out of them. Yeah. I don't care nothing about your stained glasses. <laughs> Some folks say, man, I, our church got stained windows. I just can't see myself leaving the you know, all the stain, when we got a high ceiling, we got a good choir. Let me tell you what Jesus said, not one stone going to one stand. One stone going to stand. Nobody care nothing about your building. And you here in Louisiana talking like that? That's right. And all this flooding you had? <laughs> That's right. You know you sound like a fool and think like a fool. Amen. All this flooding you had? Amen. You know your stain window is liable to be floating down the street any time. That's right. You mean to tell me that stained window floating down the street and you're going to glory in it? You hmm. better get on that thing and make a life raft out of it. Amen. And paddle for your safety. That's right. <laughs> the Holy Ghost said. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You better repent now, Mr. and Miss. Yeah. God don't want you to go to hell and I don't want you to go. That's right. But you've got to repent. You've got to be sorry about this wild, silly life you're living. You know you're living like a fool. Yeah. Oh, yes, you do. You know you're living like a fool. I've talked to thousands of sinners. Sinners have told me straight up, Pastor Jennings, I, 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 no church have ever got my attention like this. He said, especially no preacher. Amen. You see, I tell the people this, sin is a hard life. Yeah. And the devil keep riding your back, don't he? Oh, yes. You got to have preaching that's more tougher than the devil that's riding you. That's right. To help get that devil off your back and to help bring you under subjection. That's right. Man, that's a real man will take this preaching. Yeah. A woman, that's a real woman, will run to it. Oh, yes. What did he say? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. You got to hear. And be baptized. Every one of you. You got to go down in water. If you've been sprinkled in the Catholic Church, you better off get in the shower. That's right. Get your whole body washed. That's right. Because you've been sprinkled by a priest, don't mean nothing. Nothing. You priest throw water on you, don't leave. Pick it up and throw it back at him. <laughs> Amen. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. You get your sins washed away, and what did God promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy the Ghost. The Holy Ghost was when you receive that, you're filled with God. That's right. And when you have the Holy Ghost that'll put you in the church, that's put you in the body. That's right. It is written, you're baptized by one spirit into one body. Anybody want to obey this? And get right with God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and come out of falsehood. So you don't burn in the everlasting hell. If you want it, stand on your feet now. You want to be baptized, stand on your feet. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Stand on your feet, glory to God. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go to the back. Amen. 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 God told his apostles, I make you fishes of men. Fishes of men. He said, you are catch men. catch men. Do you see all that? Do you see it? Viewers, do you see it, viewers? Amen. Do you see it again? Uh, brother, uh, brother Hadley in Quitman, Georgia, do you see it again? <laughs> you witnessed it in Charleston last night. It was 42. Look, look, Hadley, Hadley. <laughs> <laughs> Hadley, I know you're going to call me. Hadley, look now. <laughs> look now. Amen. I want all you worshipers that claim you in a holy, sanctified church, and yet souls are not going down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. They're not receiving the Holy Ghost. What happened to the power of the message? That's right. <laughs> what happened to it? That's right. The prophet said, it isn't because there's no, no God, God in Israel. In Israel. That's right. The world is witnessing. The world is witnessing the hand of God like they have never experienced it. That's right. Many people have never seen God do this in their lifetime. Yeah. You can get mad and get upset and get jealous all you want. Hmm. While you're mad, he's still going to do it. That's right. While you're jealous, he's going to do it again. do it again. And he's going to keep doing it. Oh, yes. Because he promised. That's right. He, add, 
daily. daily. Such Lafayette, a come on back tonight, five o'clock. Don't sit home and watch the Lakers. Yes, sir. Go sit home and watch some college team. You come on back. I'm That's the guest. Right. You're the host. Amen. You come on back and drink of this good gospel. Amen. This is deliverance for Lafayette, Louisiana. Oh, yes. Amen. This is deliverance for the city. Amen. I know the preachers don't like the fact we're here. Preachers don't like the fact we're here. It doesn't matter. No. God has sent me not only to Lafayette, but the world. Yes. I'm sent to the world. That's right. To remind the world what God wants out of the human family. That's right. That's what God sent me for. That's right. I'm not sent to preach wealth and prosperity and that trash. Amen. I'm sent to Amen. tell you what God said so you don't go to hell. That's right. Hallelujah. That's what I'm sent for. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. That's what I'm sent for. That's right. You want to play church, you don't want to come here. No. You want to be pat on the back and your sin justified, you don't want to come here. No, no. You want to be taught how to get on God's side. That's it. Then you might as well pull up to the dock. That's right. And tie yourself down and get ready for war. That's right. Because the war you're going to have is with yourself. Oh, yes. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Oh, yes. What they're doing, everybody got to do. If you bow your head and raise your hands, you ain't never been saved. No. You've been to a church that told you to do that. You, you no more saved than a roach can put on a carnival. Amen. You bow your head and raise your hands, you're not saved. Not saved. One say, well, I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus that he rose from the dead. The Bible said I'm saved. It did not. No, it didn't. Read it right. That's Give right. me the book of Romans. Let's read it right. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and it 10. It didn't say you're saved after you do it. No. Listen at this. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. What is it? That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. You admit with your mouth the Lord Jesus. And shalt believe and in shalt thine believe heart. believe in thine heart. That God hath raised him from God the dead. God hath raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. No, you are saved when you do it. Thou shalt be saved. When the Bible says thou shalt be, that lets you know you got some more to do. Some more to do. Well, Pastor Jenner, do I really got to be baptized? You can't be saved without it. 16th chapter of Mark. Mark chapter 16 and verse when 16. When I'm saved, I ain't never been baptized. You thought you are. Thought you were. You no more saved than a duck can smoke crack. That's right. And lay square eggs. That's right. And use them for dice. <laughs> and come up with a seven every time he shoot. Amen. I'm going to make it hard for you. Mark 16 and verse 16. That's what? He that believeth. He that believeth. And is baptized shall be saved. Wait a minute. Read that right, Elder Williams. Mark 16 and verse 16. What did it say? He that believeth. Do you believe the scriptures? I hey, 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 so-called Christian. Christian. What's wrong with this scripture? That's right. Huh? That's right. You run around your church like you in the Indiana 500 ricocheting off of elders? Like the old pinball machine from the 70s. <laughs> That's right. Listen at this. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Believing is not enough. That's right. You got to be baptized, baptized. in the name of Jesus Christ for you to be saved. That's right. You ain't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You're still in your sins. Your yes. mama, your daddy, your still pastor, your bishop, your apostle, your prophet, your evangelist, your deacon, your elder, the first lady of the church, the third lady of the church. I don't care who you are. That's right. You got this to do. And if you don't do this, you are not sanctified sufficiently. And if you say you're sanctified without this, you're a liar. But he that believeth not. He that don't believe. Shall be damned. I told you. That's right. You are go to hell. That's right. Anybody else want to be baptized? Stand up now. Yeah. Because they're getting themselves ready. The brother going to take them down the water. There's water right there. Water right there to baptize you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You don't want to go to hell. Amen. Somebody wrote me and said, Pastor Jennings, I want running water. That's, that's good. We got it. <laughs> we're going to run it in. And when it's done, we're going to run it out. Run it out. People That's always right. come up with some foolishness. That's right. Running water. <laughs> All right. Give me the correct time, brothers. 209. All right. The next session will begin at 5 o'clock. Come on back. And I want to say to all my brothers and sisters of Lafayette, Louisiana, Hallelujah. you keep tuned now because we're going to get a place and start gathering you together so you can f feed you every week. Wonderful. Amen. We're going to feed you every week. Amen. You don't need for you to come and get excited now. Then when it's time, you back. Oh, no. 
Wonderful. The Lord is coming, Lafayette, and also the world. Oh, yeah. The Lord is coming. Oh, yes. You better have missed this opportunity while you got it, while you living. Amen. You better have missed it. Yeah. I want to say to all of my brothers and sisters of Monroe, Louisiana, amen. Uh, we'll be sending the keys. We, as I mentioned, we got a new church down there, and Monroe, the Lord bless us with, and we don't have a mortgage. Wonderful. Don't have no mortgage. Mm. Don't have no mortgage at all. We'll be sending the keys down there with uh, Evangelist Taj. And uh, I, believe, uh, I believe he'll be in Monroe this weekend, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll send the keys by him. And we had all the brothers and sisters go look at the new church. And uh, I have him to FaceTime me while he's there. And that way uh, the brothers can line up. I can let them know what we want them to start doing when it comes to gutting things out and getting things cleaned out so we can get Monroe start working now. Mm -hmm. Amen, we get ready to make settlement on our new temple seating anywhere from six to 700 souls in Johannesburg, South Africa. Amen. God gave us victory with that. Yeah. Amen, God gave us victory with that another place without a mortgage. Amen. Listen, listen to the Lord's doing. Wonderful. This is what tithes and offering is doing. Amen. Sacrificing. God blessed us to buy. Some areas we got a mortgage, some we're able to do it without a mortgage. Either way, that's why I wish I was a millionaire. Yeah. I wish I was a millionaire, but if I was a millionaire, I wouldn't leave town without finding a church or finding a building that I can reconstruct into a church. Yeah. You know, we do both, you know. Oh, yeah. uh, God is blessing us to open up churches. We got so many, and, and, and the demand is great. Oh, yes. Because God gave us a message every city we go in. We got a congregation. The first time we get there. That's right. First time we get there. Most men that take them years to just get 15 people. That's right. The moment we get there, but we got a congregation before we get there. They're like greedy kids waiting. That's right. That's right. And that's the way it's supposed to be. That's right. The Bible says, he that hunger and thirst after the righteousness shall be filled. Amen. If I was a millionaire, I'd be able to plant churches at the pace that I want to. And I want to. I love, I want, I love to be able to go in, buy a church, get it redone, get the people in it without all this waiting. I don't like renting. The reason why I don't like renting, you're at the mercy of the landlord. That's true. And all he or she got to do is disagree with what you preach and then turn the lights on. Yeah. You can't use the baptism pool and all of that mess. I, I can't stand that. Yeah. Amen. So Lafayette, we're going to try to get a place temporarily to rent and get you in there. And also, God willing, next year we're looking to get into Baton Rouge so we can bat Rouge with Bible. <laughs> Amen. Baton Rouge, we ain't forgot you. We ain't forgot you, Baton Rouge. We'll be there to bat your Rouge to your knees. <laughs> eh? Amen. 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 Also, I want to get into Shreveport, Louisiana. I have to get in there too. I have to get in the street for you. I mean, this is the way God has it. That's right. We got souls all over the place. Hallelujah. And it's amazing how one message, how God, how God have done this. Sometimes people, have someone gave me a note last night. They never heard of us. It was here last night and how I popped up on their phone. Mm. They said they was on the phone looking for gospel music. I came up, I ain't no gospel singer. They said they've been listening ever since. Wonderful. They hooked. And I have gotten hundreds of testimonies like that around the world. I remember one man say he was at a cookout. He had a cookout. And, uh, and he was downloading blues. You, uh, you know I ain't no blues singer. He was downloading blues. He had his grill and a family outing. And when I came up, he thought I was, you know, some, some blues musician. And uh, he put me on Bluetooth, had me blast him through the speakers. Yeah, blues came out all right. <laughs> gospel came gospel. out. Amen. When gospel came out, he said he forgot all about the blues and his family was around there eating hot dogs and burgers listening. Mm. Before you know it, they went down in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the best thing that God put in the earth. Oh, yes. All right, we're going to let you go while those getting prepared for baptism.